Hey everyone, uh, it's Mr. McPoned here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your gamepad viewer properly. Uh, if you're not sure what a gamepad viewer is, it's basically a way to show your button inputs on stream or in a recording. Uh, as you can see on the bottom, there are currently no gamepads, gamepads connected. Please press any button to enable. So I'm just going to turn off my Xbox One controller, or turn on, uh, press the A button, you know, D-pad, any of those buttons works. Then I'm going to select my player, in this case it's player 2. And as you can see, it's lighting up and all that stuff. Now, set, let's get to actually putting it on stream. Uh, as you can see here, there's a little text overview of what you can do. One method is through Chroma Key installation, and the other is through CLR Browser. Right now we're going to do the Chroma Key installation. So I'm just going to go to OBS here, I'm going to add a new window capture, call it gamepad, luckily it already selected the window for us. Uh, we're going to select use color key, and first let me get out of that, so we can properly select the color. After that it should be fine, I usually think about 13 for similarity and maybe about 15 for blend should do it. Uh, I'm going to close this out first so I can move the window out of the way because next we're going to be selecting the subregion. As soon as you click select region, move that there. We're going to drag the handles up into the controller. Get the bottom one and the one on the right. Now it should be good. Just press enter, and you're fine there. You can also optionally set the opacity there to whatever you like. Now we set, I'm gonna click OK. And if I preview the stream, move around the buttons, it should be fine. Got all that. You might notice there's like maybe a bit of an outline. You can adjust that as need be with the blending and similarity options. In the future, I'm probably going to add an option in order to let you change those colors a lot easier with the press of a button and the color picker and all that stuff. Uh, but for now, it's a brown color. Now, while that's one way of doing things, the other way is actually a lot simpler. Just go here, and as you can see, the website's pretty much updated. Whole new UI for it. We have a game custom URL generator and it works through all the parameters that have added before and any upcoming ones you can check those under the docs page there's a whole list here explains what they do what acceptable values there are any other minor notes and go back to generate URL here select which player you want and even if you're one of the people who use chroma key you can select that and generate your own custom URL for stuff just remember, if you're using chroma key, the skin option does not affect it because you have the selection option at the top for skins. Now, let's select player one. We're going to select our skin as, uh, where should the Xbox? Let's do the PlayStation 4. And there's also a new option to show the inputs as strength meters instead of simply opacity. And there's also the dead zone filtering, uh, you know, the opacity value for the whole controller, delay and rotational stop. This one is more about a future release I have in mind dealing with wheels and stuff, racing wheels and all the like. But there are a lot of buttons on racing wheels. I'm not sure how to exactly do with all that data. So it for now, it just rotates the left and right sticks and that's a separate thing and now since we're you know pretty much done selecting our options here we can click here and it's copied we go back to OBS we right click add seal our browser call this one gamepad overlay we can just select it all here paste and I'm gonna adjust these to about Say 840 and 680, just to well maybe yeah just to, just to see how it goes. And as you can see, that's pretty good. And pretty much press the button. On it is. 
as you can see it's showing up as a value of strength and we have bumpers, option share, everything's all in text. And that's pretty much it. Now, spread the word. Uh, I've got Twitter, Twitch and stuff, YouTube. It's all here on the side. There's a Trello board if you want to keep up with updates, sort of what I've been working on and things like that, things I have in mind and whatnot. And there's also the original OBS forum thread if you want to look at that too. Maybe post a reply there on the forums or whatnot. So, yeah. That's it. Thanks for watching.